What up, guys? This is Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Chop Is Dish. This game was published by Victory Road Games, and it was developed by Huge Pixel. Victory Road is one of the publishers that I gave a shout out for starting to create easy achievements. I made a video called Who Makes the Easiest Achievements, and in that video, I highlighted some different publishers that are jumping onto the achievement train and releasing almost weekly games with easy achievements. I've been building a good relationship with Victory Road and they've been providing cheat codes for all of the achievements. So once again, I got a cheat code for you guys that's going to make this a much easier completion. This time the cheat code is going to give us unlimited lives. This is really going to help because without the cheat code, we only would have had seven lives. And the way that this game works is you can only get hit once. If you get hit once, you die. So it would have been pretty hard because Pretty much without the cheat code, we only would have been able to get hit seven times and then we would have had to start at the beginning of the game. And to get this full completion or platinum trophy, we actually need to complete the full game. Luckily, the game isn't that long. It's just about nine levels split up into three different worlds, three levels on each world. So just make sure that you start the game on easy. Then we're going to press start and you're going to enter in the following cheat code. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Feel free to pause it. The cheat code is going to be up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right, Y. Once you type it in correctly, you'll hear a little victory notification sound. Also, you'll see on the upper left hand side of the screen that we have 50 hearts. The hearts represent your lives. Without the cheat code, we have to kill 100 enemies to get just one extra life or heart. Every time you kill an enemy, they drop meat and you collect the meat. So the amount of meat that we have is pretty much going to be the enemy counter. The reason I'm pointing this out is because there is an achievement or trophy related to killing 72 enemies. So you wanna make sure that you kill all the enemies until you collect 72 pieces of meat. After you've collected 72, that achievement will pop. Now, after you complete the tutorial level, we're going to run into our first ledge at the beginning of the first level. You want to just walk off five times. We're going to unlock an achievement for 30 gamer score for dying in the abyss five times. At this point, we can just go ahead and proceed through the game. Ultimately, this completion is going to take anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour. Just to foreshadow, there's also going to be an achievement for completing the game twice. Um, luckily, we don't actually need to complete the game twice. There's a little trick at the end to get that one. I'm going to be talking about it later in the video. After you complete each level, you're going to unlock an achievement. So you unlock an achievement at 1-1, 1-2, and 1-3. At that point, you're going to face the first boss, and then you're going to move on to the second world. The second world is going to have a 2-1, 2-2, and a 2-3 level, and then the second boss. And then finally, we're going to be playing the third world, which also has three levels, and then the third and final boss. We're going to be able to run through the game pretty quick. I know it sounds intimidating, but you can beat the game in under an hour. But at the same time, I don't want to get it twisted. The game can be kind of hard because if you do get hit once, you will die. The cheat code does not offer invincibility or god mode. It's simply unlimited deaths or lives. So you can actually take damage and die. You can just die an unlimited amount of times. You will never end up getting to the game over screen as long as you have that cheat code typed in. Now there will be little red flags. Those represent the checkpoints in each of the levels. So you will find yourself dying by any means. You're not going to be able to rush through this level without dying. You're going to find yourself dying quite a few times. So ultimately, it is a bit skill dependent. But overall, I'd say a skilled player will probably get it done in about 45 minutes. And maybe somebody that isn't as skilled, maybe up to an hour and a half. But it really shouldn't take that long. Now, I'm not going to be doing a full walkthrough on all nine levels just because it really isn't needed. It's just like most 2D side scrollers, you just need to proceed to the right until you finish the level. So I'm going to start highlighting the boss battles. The boss battles are fairly simple as long as you get the pattern of the boss. So for this boss, we need to jump on top of him. But when you jump on top of him, you want to make sure that you proceed to the left or right because he tosses two bombs above his head right after you hit him. So just make sure that you don't stand right next to him after you jump on him, that you try to run away so you don't get hit by those bombs. Every time those bombs blow up, it's going to drop rocks from the ceiling. So you're also going to have to make sure that you're dodging those rocks in the meantime. If you're wondering how much life the boss has left, it's represented on the upper right hand side of the screen. 
That represents how many hits the boss still has to take. Now there is one hidden collectible in the game, the secret burger. There is an achievement or trophy related to this. So this is going to be in 2-1, the beginning of the second world. Once you start the level, you're going to want to walk past that uh, rotating mace. And then it's going to be hidden behind that wall. That's going to be worth 15 gamer score for finding the secret burger. After that, we can go ahead and proceed. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the second boss battle. I'm just going to continue to talk about the boss battles because in between doesn't matter. You just got to complete those three levels. Um, if you guys didn't know, you can switch weapons by pressing left bumper. You're going to be introduced to the Molotov cocktail during this boss battle. He's going to drop some Molotov cocktails sometimes. You can throw them by using the attack button. But I'd say you want to switch back to your knives or gun and make sure that you're shooting the gun or throwing the knives um, in between. Just because you're not going to have as many Molotovs and they're also harder to hit the enemy with. You have to make sure that you're at the perfect distance. That way it hits them. But there is advantages to doing that because the Molotov is going to take more damage than let's say the knife or the bullets. I also want to talk about the enemies that he spawns after you hit him. Once you hit him, he'll drop some blood and it turns into like a little blood blob enemy. You're going to have to jump on this enemy to defeat them. You cannot shoot them. It is possible that you'll jump on these red blobs and end up bouncing off and then running into the boss and killing yourself. So you want to make sure that you jump on those enemies as quick as possible like right when they spawn. But at the same time, you want to make sure that you're not standing right below the boss when you hit him because that enemy is going to spawn right next to you and kill you. Once again, if you're wondering how many hits the boss has left, you can see on the upper right hand side of the screen. Ultimately, I thought the boss was pretty easy. You just need to make sure that you're being patient. He doesn't have any crazy attacks or anything like that. If anything, you might just end up getting hit by the red blob. For instance, the first time I defeated him, I ran into his red blob right away, right after he was defeated, and I had to defeat him all over again. That's when I unlocked that achievement. So don't be like me, guys, and make sure that you keep your distance after you hit him. Otherwise, you know, after he's defeated, he's still going to drop that last uh, drop of blood, which is going to turn into an enemy. So make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you're going to have to defeat him all over again, which isn't that big of a deal, I guess. I guess it's just like five minutes but it was a little tedious. Next, I want to talk about killing the 72 enemies again. You want to make sure that you're killing all of your enemies and picking up the meat. The achievement isn't actually for killing 72 enemies, it's for picking up 72 meats. Ultimately, you have to kill them to pick up the meats, but I just want to foreshadow that you can't just kill them, you do have to pick up the meat. It'll end up popping after 72 meats collected. Next, once you're in the third world, the one with the lava, you want to make sure that you drop into the lava five times because there is an achievement related to dying from the lava five times. That's the sick burn achievement for 30 gamer score. Next, I'm going to show you guys how I defeated the third and final boss. So what you want to do is jump on him three times in a row. That's going to trigger three different uh, rocket earthquakes waves of rockets that are going to drop from the ceiling. I wouldn't recommend jumping on him more than three times in a row. Otherwise, you're just going to get really overwhelmed with the rockets falling from the sky. So basically, you're jumping on him and then jumping to the side. You want to wait about half a second because he does launch a rocket from the top of his head. Once that rocket clears, you can jump right back on him. So I recommend jumping on three times in a row and then dodging all of the rockets. And then you're going to rinse and repeat that until you defeat him. After you defeat him, we're going to unlock an achievement for completing the game, and that's going to trigger the credits. We do have an achievement or trophy related to watching all of the credits, so you want to make sure that you don't skip that and that you watch them through. After you get to the end of the credits, your achievement is going to pop for a 90 gamer score called Thank You Kindly for reaching the end of the credits. At this point, we should only have two achievements left. This next achievement is going to be for completing the game two times. Now, personally, I wasted a lot of time trying to experiment. I went ahead and tried to do the cloud save trick in effort to beat the game uh, twice quickly. But it turns out you don't even need to do anything like that. The cloud save trick didn't even work. You can actually just press continue after you beat the game and it's going to send you right to the end of the game. All you need to do is just jump in the pile of meat and you're going to get your achievement for completing the game twice. Alright guys, and now we're on our final achievement or trophy. What you want to do is go to new game because there was an achievement related to getting a game over. So now that we started a new game, there is no cheat code activated. You could tell because we have seven lives on the upper left hand side of the screen. So you just want to walk into the first enemy. We're going to do that seven times until we lose all seven of our hearts. 
This is going to trigger the game over screen and we're going to unlock our final achievement or trophy. I'm not going to show you all seven deaths. I'll just go ahead and fast forward through them just so you can see the achievement pop. But that is going to be our full 1000 gamers score or platinum trophy guys. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.